There was no voice modification in this video whatsoever. All right, yo, what's up, guys? Brett here today, and um, I've got a few things to talk about. Actually, I'm not quite sure what kind of gameplay I'm gonna put over the background of this, but I just kind of wanted to talk to you and discuss a few quick things. The number one thing I want to talk to you about today is YouTube community, and don't get me don't get me into the, like the section where it's like, oh, YouTube community is bad, blah blah blah. Um, I want to actually talk about like a new theory that I could kind of you know create. So. Way back in the day, Modern Warfare 2, Winston Redemption made this video about using uh, noob tubes and uh, using the um, uh, one man army set up with Danger Close so you could constantly keep noob tubing and it made the game awful, it ruined the game and Rings of Redemption uh, is a dick for ruining that game. Now, I'm thinking about it in another manner. If someone could do that and ruin a game, can't the community come together and fix a game? Like, if we had every single YouTube commentator use a fun class, set up, uh, set up a really awesome fun game type or class, and uh, kind of make the community whereas people don't camp, people don't sit in corners, people just run around and have a good time. If we could make it so the community could have fun while playing video games, don't you think that would be better than sitting in a top of a building with a noob tube and switching every five seconds or sitting with Ghost, Assassin, Dead Silence, whatever the game is, whatever the perks are, do you think it would be more fun if the community could come together and kind of eliminate those kind of things? Now obviously there's going to be the people who don't watch YouTube and uh... That's actually, you know, it's it's a big part of the Call of Duty scene, but I think even a bigger part watches YouTube. So if we could, if it was possible to get every single commentator to do a really fun, awesome video, and like someone like Woody's Gamertag or Wings of Redemption who don't post exciting gameplays, if they could change their game style where they run uh, into a field more often, they don't sit in corners like. People will kind of get the notion of um, playing the game from the people they watch. Even myself, I watch Jay Nasty, uh, Exquisite Xbox Live, iTemp, Theocrats, whatever it is. I watch good players only. I don't watch people who are bad at the game because I can't stand it. Like Theocrats says himself, he can't stand watching bad players. I can as well. I barely have time to watch the game plays as it is. But. If I see someone running around rushing to get our awesome mode and stuff, that reflects on my game style, so why wouldn't that reflect on the community's game style? Um, and I think that would really, really help out the game and uh, fix it uh, for the most part. Um, but that's just a theory. Um, you know, we could always try it out. Uh, I'm not one to hopefully my gameplays camp or do anything. Uh, that's that's disrespectful or you know rude um, and now this is just straightly talking about the game because uh, I know there's a lot of other things a, a million other topics to talk about but obviously uh, I'm just talking about this right now because um, I played some black ops today and there's always there's always something to complain about and I've noticed though when I die to someone who clearly outplayed me like legitimately I had a better uh, cover system, um, you know, he jumped around the corner, he shot me first, um, whatever it is, if he outplayed me or killed me with a throwing knife or sniped me nicely, if he kills me legitimately nicely, I'm not mad, I'm like, good kill, good for him, he outplayed me, I am not mad whatsoever, those, those kills are very rare though, uh, most of the time people will kill me because they're sitting in the corner with Ghost or Assassin, and uh, just playing like a little bitch or crouch walking with uh, Sitra Pro so you can hear the enemy's footsteps louder. Stuff stuff that's just annoying and stupid. Um, and I just, I don't know, I don't know. I just think if we can eliminate some of those things by the big commentators, like not even myself, I'm not a big commentator whatsoever. I'm a, a medium sized commentator. So the only thing that I have in this community is the connections to get uh, a video or a um, a topic kind of 
uh, going. Uh, that's the only thing I have over uh, smaller YouTubers, pretty much, because like my videos myself, they don't get you know maybe they get 2,000 views. Okay, good enough. Like I love that. That's awesome. But uh, it's nothing compared to like the White Boys, the Woody's Gamer Tag, or uh, even like Jay Nasty now is getting a ridiculous amount of views. So um, I just have connections, guys. So. I'm just kind of voicing my opinion about this entire situation, and uh, you know, if we guys, if we could come together as a community, and uh, would you guys be down? Because it's got to be a full effort. It's like a trust system almost. Um, I was looking at my Black Ops um, career. I didn't buy Ghost a single time. It cost 2,000 COD points. I have, I get like 3,000 a game. So I could have bought Ghost anytime, anywhere, any when. I hadn't bought Ghost. The entire community. Like, the entire time of that game, sorry. And that's 15th prestigious of no Ghost. That's insane. And I was impressed with myself, actually. Um, and, uh, you know what I saved all my COD points for? Gold guns. <laughs> Which is weird, because the first 13 prestigious, you don't have any gold guns, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that was just kind of a thought of mine. Um, tell me what you guys think about things like suicide or, um, or what was the other one? Well, there was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can pull it on Twitter real quick. I'm not sure. I can't really find it right now. Internet, maybe. No, it's not. But, but I think I think, I think suicide is a big one lately, and I think uh, for my next commentary, I'm going to talk about that one. So, um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, tell me what you guys think about this little idea of mine. If someone can ruin a game, can't someone also fix the game? Make it fun for everyone? Whatever, just an idea. Uh, we could definitely fix it for Black Ops 2. Obviously, we can't really fix it for an older Call of Duty, but we can always do our best as a community, because there literally are millions and millions of us that watch these videos. So. Tell me what you guys think, and uh, I love you all. Thanks for watching. My name is Brett. Subscribe if you haven't already. That really, really helps out my channel, and like the video. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> see you guys. Peace.